Hey everyone, many of you know that uh, for my YouTube videos, a lot of my videos are done uh, using Final Cut Pro 10. And I found that while I'm not uh, a power user, the actual application is very powerful and they keep releasing updates fairly frequently. And, it, you know, there's a lot of controversy when it first came out, but the latest, the last two updates have been great. I think the performance for me has been really good. Um, I really like it a lot. The challenge I have with it is that, um, and it's more my, my laptop as well, that I, I hate having external devices, um, USB drives attached to my computer. And I find that in my 2010 MacBook Pro here that has 500 gigabytes in it, I am frequently challenged with storage management. I spend way too much time managing storage, moving things around, just in order to import more video to do work. What I want to do is put files on my network, my network attached storage of a Synology device. That means that I just can move my laptop around wherever I am in my local network and access the, that content. And I don't have a, a USB drive dangling from it. So you may know that Final Cut Pro does not allow you to have files on the network unless you have a very expensive SAN device, Apple SAN. <clears throat> I don't have that, but um, I found a trick on the internet basically, and I, I've known about this for a while and I've dismissed it a little bit, thinking it was just too techy, too cumbersome, not ideally what I wanted. But I just, for whatever reason, I started playing with it uh, a while ago and decided that this actually it's it's good enough it works for what I want it to do so here's what it is it, within your your Mac environment go down to the disk utility application that comes delivered with the operating system um, make sure that your your network location is accessible so I have a Synology disk station I have a folder set up where I'm going to create a Final Cut Pro disk image. It doesn't, it's not specific to Final Cut Pro, but it's just a disk image. So I have a location available for that. I can see my network in the finder. So now what I'm going to do from the disk utility, I'm gonna go up to file. I'm going to go to new. I'm gonna put blank disk image, new blank disk image. I'm gonna call it test. Uh, just, I'll use a fancy name, Final Cut Pro test to 100 GB and this is my network location I'm going to put that file in my network location I'm going to have to rename it again use this, the same name basically is what I do final cut pro 10 test 100 gigabyte it does take some time so you go in and pick your specific size. I go to custom. I'm going to switch it to gigabyte. I'm going to type in 100. Okay, use the format of Mac OS extended journal. This is a file format. No encryption, single partition. You want it to be able to read and write. I'm going to hit create. So depending on the size, this could run for a few minutes to a couple hours. <clears throat> the largest I've done is 500 gigabytes, and that took uh, a while, maybe a couple hours. I would say that um, it's probably not a great idea to have one large file because it will automatically use the storage anyways, even if you don't have a lot of files on it. Um, so, and I have a feeling that the smaller the file size uh, the image file size, the, probably the better the performance. So I'm using, I've used 500 gigabytes and I'll fill those up and then add a new one if I need to. And while this is creating, it's going to take a while to create, but um, what you will see is that once it is created, you'll go back into the disk utility and what you would do once it's created, I'll just open up one that's already available. Open disk image, <clears throat> navigate to the spot on your network. I have this 500 gigabyte one. 
and I'm going to hit open. Okay. And you'll confirm it in the finder that I, I have a messed up name here, but this one terabyte one is actually the 500 gigabyte one. And you can see if I click on that image, all I have in here is my Final Cut Pro events and the projects. Okay, so confirm that I can see that on the network and within the finder. So let's go back to Final Cut Pro. Sometimes Final Cut Pro will pop open the disk image. Actually, it will. It will pop open the disk image anyways for you as long as you see it in the finder. So here it is right here, Final Cut Pro 10. Again, excuse the name, one terabyte image. It's actually um, the 500 gigabyte one. So now it's kind of loading all up the, uh, the events that I had in here. Um, excuse the, I have a few missing files, nothing to do with this particular thing. You may see some content I have in some other YouTube videos here. So the performance is okay. It's tolerable for many things. I think if you have the ability you want, what I typically do is when I want to work on a big project, I keep the files locally on my drive. And then when I've done most of my edits or I'm just done with the project, I then move the event uh, using the uh, normal move event uh, uh, tooling up here. It's grayed out right here, but move event and it'll go, you can move it to this, uh, you know, these locations, these disk images. Um, so it works fine. You, you can edit with it. It's, it can be a little slow. I have a one gig network going here for me, so it's, it's usable. I'll say that it, there is some lag, but, uh, it's better than nothing. And it certainly gets me away from you using a lot of USB devices. So I am pleasantly surprised with how easy this was to do. It's not technical at all, in my opinion. And uh, I recommend that you use it if you're constantly struggling for disk space, but you have space available on your home network or even work network. So thanks all. Let me know if you have any questions.